What's up, YouTube? This is Bro52. It is currently 12 of. Sorry. <laughs> it is currently 12:05 in the morning, and um, this video is by a uh, video game donkey. I've seen it a couple hundred times. It's his review of Ocarina of Time, and if you don't like Zelda already, I'm I guarantee you this video will change your mind. I'm not gonna talk a lot through this. I just want to introduce this video to you. If you want to see the video, the link will be in the description below. But uh, here you go. Gamers are a confused people. Some are blinded by nostalgia. Many of them think that realistic graphics make a game funner, and a huge chunk of gamers believe that Ocarina of Time is the greatest game of them all. Now you have to understand that I have no nostalgic connection at all to this game. Okay, the first time I played this, I was like 10 years old and I got the GameCube disc for pre-ordering Wind Waker. So I turn this game on and I say, this game is old and sucks balls. Now you have to understand that I was a fucking idiot kid. Ocarina of Time is a magnificent, towering achievement for video games. It's so unique and creative and memorable. One of the first things you do in this game is you walk into a giant tree's mouth. You enter and the camera slowly pans down revealing the huge interior of the Deku tree. You see that it's cluttered with webs and malicious spiders and plants. Then very slowly, the music starts to creep in and you understand that this is a sacred place that has been dying for probably hundreds of years. This is how you establish atmosphere in a video game, and Ocarina of Time continues to do this over and over again, bringing these incredible environments to life that breathe imagination. A lot of this is owed to Koji Kondo's musical score. This is that fucking masterpiece shit. The upbeat, epic, high rule feel. This is exactly what an adventure sounds like in your head. Then you got the slow jams, you know, Lon Lon Ranch. It's got that catchy, reassuring melody that lets you know, hey man, you can get some milk now. Pet a chicken. Then you got that evil shit when Link goes down in the well. There's all this blood down here and satanic symbols all over the wall. And then what the hell is that? Is this game rated E for horrific imagery and gore? There are cutscenes and dialogue, but what I really appreciate about Zelda is its ability to tell the bulk of its story through gameplay. It has a lot of stuff to say to the player indirectly. As a kid, Link's adventures are more lighthearted, there's always a happy ending, the world itself is bustling with energy and excitement. Then you turn into an adult. What the fuck? The exploration is especially rewarding in this game. This is an extremely complete and realized world. There are little details, little easter eggs, there's secrets everywhere. You blow up a hole in the ground and then there's a talking cow down here, drinking water. You can see these little Mario portraits in Zelda's castle. Death Mountain, my favorite example. It's always out there looming in the distance. You can walk there and climb up it and then there's a giant Goron up here. I can't, I can't have a giant Goron in there. <laughs> this is my jam game. Then you have the time travel mechanic, which is just brilliant. You come back to explore the same world seven years later, and all these things have changed. This guy used to be some bada bitch working on the farm, now he owns the farm. Dampy, this poor guy always digging up graves in the pouring rain, he died from hypothermia. Ocarina of Time is surprisingly somber. People are killed off. You spend most of your time in dimly lit dungeons set against these creepy, ominous soundscapes. But you push through this overbearing darkness because of the lovable characters and the beautiful music and you're rewarded with an incredibly satisfying ending. This game is a true classic. It has stood the test of time and it deserves a perfect score by modern standards. If you haven't played this game yet, I'm Come over there, I'm gonna punch you in the balls. So that was that, boys. Go subscribe to Video Game Donkey. Incredibly amazing game reviewer. Um... Ocarina of Time is where I started with gaming. Oh, that you're not supposed to see that. <laughs> Ocarina of Time is where I started with gaming. And it's a great place to start. Zelda is magical. And 
I think that's about it. It's amazing, and anyone who says otherwise deserves to die in a fire. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I'm curious. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.